So today I'm going to be showing you how I did this Valentine's Day look. I know a lot of people are doing soft, more neutral, romantic kind of Valentine's Day looks. And honestly, that's probably what I'll be rocking too on Valentine's Day. But this is just for the people who want to add a little bit of color to their look. And it's inspired by chocolate covered strawberries. Who doesn't like chocolate covered strawberries? So if you'd like to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. Hey everyone, so the first thing that we're going to do is moisturize our face and I'm going to be using the Clean and Clear Moisturizer. Clean and Clear is my skincare line of choice that I use. And then the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to tape our eyes. Um, I had them on my wrist so I pulled them off and kind of got rid of most of like the stickiness so that way when I pulled it off my face it wouldn't hurt so much. And then I'm going to be going in with a flat shader brush and this NYC primer and priming my eyes a lot. We're going to be using a lot of bright colors and some glitter. So I really want this color to stay. So we're going to be putting a lot of primer and setting that with our Revlon Photo Ready Face Powder in the shade Fair Light. And then I'm going to be taking the chocolate bar palette from Too Faced. I seriously love this palette. And we're going to be taking this shade right there and we're going to be putting it in our crease as our transition shade. I lost the sheet that came in this palette for all the names of the colors so I apologize. That's why I'm pointing to them in the video but I apologize. I do not know the names. And then I'll be taking this Claire's palette. I know, Claire's eyeshadow. You're all probably like, what the heck? But this is going to be our base for a hot pink color later on. And we're just going to be packing this color on until we get the desired shade that we want. Then going in with a pencil brush and a darker brown from the chocolate bar palette, we are going to be starting to create our cut crease. And this definitely takes practice. I'm not an expert at it yet. But this whole look, you're going to want to go in, and here I am going in with a bigger flat shader brush. You want to keep going in and creating that line and then blending out the top, not the bottom, keeping that sharp line in your crease. Next, we'll be going into the Wild and Free palette with the same flat shader brush, picking up this green color and adding that into our cut crease as well because the stems of strawberries are green, so that's where we're putting that in there. And then going in with an angled brush on that dark brown, we're going to be focusing it more on the outer V of the eye. That way we don't cover up the green completely, but we just want to draw everything together and then we're going to blend it out. Again, blending the top of the cut crease, not the bottom because we want to keep that sharp line and if you don't have great control of the brush and you get the color a little bit too high like me you can just rub it away with your finger and make a clean line and I'm just showing you here this Claire's brush cleaner that I've been using in between each color to clean off this brush because I really think that this flat shader brush really helped me out so I was just showing you guys that there next taking the Urban Decay electric palette we're going to be going in with the color Savage on the flat shader brush I seriously love this brush. It was just so good for packing color. And we're going to be packing this color on over top of the Claire's eyeshadow. And obviously a strawberry is not this super pink. So we're going to be going in with the Claire's eyeshadow again over top to kind of mute down the neon pinkness, if that makes sense. Because um, obviously you don't want to put like a red shadow on your eyes. That'll just look like gross. Then we're going to go back in with the pencil brush and really define that cut crease a little bit more. Then we're going to be going in with this matte white shade from the chocolate bar palette and putting that on our brow bone. And then we're going to go in with this light pink sparkly shade from the same palette and put that over top just to add a little bit of shimmer but not too much. And then we're going to be taking off the tape and you will see that it gave us a nice 
sharp line and create a guideline for us to put on shadow underneath. Here I'm just showing you the products that I'm using on my face because I didn't want to go into detail explaining it because I already put up a foundation routine that I'll link here and I also just showed you my eyebrow stuff and my eyeliner because I can never get that on the frame on camera. But basically I just did like a small line of gel eyeliner and now I'm going in with the dark brown shadow on an angled brush and putting that underneath our lash line as eyeliner. Then I'm going in with this beautiful Urban Decay eyeshadow and I'm putting that in the inner corners of our eyes and then going in with the same light pink sparkly shadow from the Too Faced palette and putting that over top to just make it a little bit lighter. Then I'm going in with these Valentine's Day Kiss Lashes and I put those on off camera because obviously I was out of frame. And then I put on all three of these mascaras. I know, probably a little excessive, but I love mascara. It's the CoverGirl Full Lash Bloom. The I'm reading them right now. The Voluminous Million Excess Lashes from L'Oreal. And a Kiko 2-in-1 uh, mascara and glitter eyeliner. Um, I put one coat of each on my lashes obviously on both eyes not just the one that i'm showing but the kiko one i only put on the upper lashes because the wand is too big to put on the bottom lashes then i'm going with my Too faced little black book of bronzers and i'm going to be bronzing and contouring um, and just a trick i take a card to create a really sharp contour on my face um, just a little tip and trick for you guys Going in with this Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blush in the shade Orchid Hush. I'm going to be putting that on with this stippling brush. It's just a really light pink. I didn't want my face to have too much color on it. I really wanted the focus to be on my eyes and my lips. So I'm just putting that on here. And then for a highlight, I went in with the light pink sparkly shade from the Too Faced palette. Again, it's an eyeshadow, but it's gorgeous. So I've used it as my highlight as well. Then going in with this lip liner from Avon, totally not the right color, totally dark for this look, but it's literally the only lip liner I have besides red. Um, now that I think of it, red might have been okay, but I'm just lining my lips lightly with this. And then I'm going in with the color Berry Ready from Maybelline and putting that on our lips first. We're going to be layering some lipsticks to try to get the right color um, and a lip gloss as well. So the next one that I'm going to be going in with is Fifth Ave Fuchsia from Maybelline and this is just a more pinkier color uh, lipstick and I really love both of them but I couldn't decide so I mixed them both and I really like the way it came out. And then on top of both of those, I'm going to be taking this NYX Butter Gloss in the color Strawberry Parfait. And that just kind of added this really pretty sheen to my lips and kind of just made it a little bit more pinky. And I really think that it kind of did look like a strawberry because in my opinion, strawberries aren't red red. They're kind of like a pinky red. Um, so I really like the way it came out and that was the finished product. That is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button and comment what you thought and any requests down below, as well as subscribe to my channel, my beauty channel, and if you want my vlog channel. I have all the, those links down below, as well as the links to all of my social media. I also wanna point out that like, I know it got really dark in the background throughout the whole video. I've been filming this over a span of three hours because I've had stuff to do in between like feed and walk the dogs and I got a call from my uncle in the middle of it. So I've just been kind of all over the place. So I hope the lighting is okay and I hope that the look came out okay, but I'm really happy about it. I've had this idea for this look for years, honestly. Um, this was actually one of the first YouTube videos that I ever wanted to film was this Valentine's Day look that I kind of created in my head. It's kind of a more modernized version of the look that I had in my head just because I wanted to try the cut crease. I know I'm not a master at it, seriously. You don't need to tell me down below. I know I'm not great at it yet, but I wanted to try the cut crease. And obviously like a long time ago, I would not have put on the false lashes and done the cut crease and the bright lip. So this is definitely a more modernized and advanced version of what I had thought of. For those of you who don't know my story, basically the way I wanted to start YouTube was from Blair Fowler's Valentine's Day look. Uh, and I forget what year it was, honestly. It was years ago. I was in seventh grade at the time. 
and now I'm two years out of high school. I'd be a sophomore in college if I went to college, but I went to beauty school instead. So that was many, many years ago, and that's what inspired me to want to do YouTube for the longest time. And I had a channel, and I uploaded one video, and then I took it down, um, and I created this channel, which I started putting videos up three years ago with the help of, you know, friends and family um, supporting me and everything like that. So it was just a big deal for me to finally film this look that I've wanted to film for the longest time because watching Blair's video made me create this look in my head and really made me want to start YouTube and doing videos and I've just been putting off doing this look for a very long time because in the past two years um, I've been busy around this time and obviously I know my videos are consistent and I want to get them to be consistent. Um, I really do. I'm really going to work on that. But I finally felt like I had the time to film this look and to do this tutorial. And I'm so happy that it's now when my makeup skills are a little bit more advanced and all these techniques are coming out like contouring and the cut crease and all that stuff. Um, because I'm sure if I filmed it in some grade when I had originally thought of it, it would not have come out this good. So I hope that the seventh grade me is looking up to me right now. I'm really proud. That'd be awesome. But anyway, I'm done rambling. I just thought I'd throw in a little backstory about this tutorial because I'm just so excited about it. Seriously, if you haven't already done so, if you liked this video and you want to see more, subscribe to my channel and comment down below what you thought and any requests, as well as follow me on other social media. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Back. You don't invite yourself to something even. No, I'm gonna suggest it. Duh, I have etiquette.